sitting at a stop sign, sitting at a traffic light, riding along at slow speed, riding along at regular cruising speed. You need to have a good light system on your bike. I'm very excited today to show you some of the decisions I made on lights for the back of my bike. Let's go ahead and take a look in some super close detail at what I did. The Custom Dynamics ProBeam BCM compliant turn signal conversion kit 1157 rear is the uh, item that I chose for my bike. Keep in mind LED lights are a very personal decision. You've got to decide with preferably the help of a professional or after a lot of research on your own what type of LED scheme you want for your bike. These 1157 rear turn signal lights are complete plug-and-play pro-beam 100% LED rear turn signals and they come in a choice of 1157 red ring LED turn signals or ProBeam 1157 solid red LED turn signals. ProBeam turn signals are DOT and SAE compliant and are backed by Custom Dynamics Lifetime LED Warranty. Fitment includes Harley-Davidson models equipped with bullet style dual intensity 1157 rear turn signals. Signal stabilizer or load equalizer is not required on these BCM models. So this tri bar by Custom Dynamics is used in conjunction with the Custom Dynamics magic strobes and uh, brake, brake light flashers. What this does, it applies brake flash strobe patterns to the Custom Dynamics rear 1157 LED bullet style run, brake, and turn signals. So with this baby you can easily select 10 flash strobe patterns by simply spinning the dial on the magic strobes brake light flasher module. It has a, seat, a sleek design and a compact dimension of 4 by 1 and a half by 0.6. Although this device has been designed to significantly increase braking vi visibility flash strobe patterns may not be street legal. So the point here is is that uh, if uh, you're unsure about LED lights in your community, town, or state, uh, make sure you find out what the laws are in your particular area regarding LEDs. A general rule of thumb uh, is that if you're, if you're going to add LED lights where already existing stock lights were located and you stick to specific colors meaning white or red you're generally not going to have a problem but if you're adding uh, accessory lights to your bike to the undercarriage of your bike or you're adding uh, accessory lights to your your engine compartment Accessory lights being defined as uh, lights that were not already there when a bike, bike came from the factory. Then be very careful about the laws in your area concerning accessory lights. So the last thing I want to talk to you about on this project is the 8 inch uh, mega plasma rods uh, that I put on the back of the bike. These plasma rods are pretty cool. They use a uh, patented technology that produces a bright and smooth light output 
They can be used just about anywhere on your bike, but they work great as turn signals or brake lights located between your bags and your fender filler panel or as a third brake light located under your tour pack. Plasma rods mount with included 3M automotive grade tape. With their smoke lenses, plasma rods are almost invisible when off and bright red or amber when illuminated. They use a Eclipse 2 module or dual converted to uh, convert to dual intensity and you should use uh, 8 inch for standard for bikes with standard bags and uh, 10 inch or 12 inch or even 14 inch length for motorcycles that have extended bags. Amber LED plasma rods are only available in the 8 inch length and are recommended to be used as turn only with rear facing applications. So before I turn this, uh, this system on and give you a chance to see what this uh, rear system uh, looks like, the last uh, piece of information I want to give to you here is that uh, this system is designed and intended only for use as auxiliary lighting on motorcycles only. This product must be wired such that it does not interfere with any original equipment lighting. So once again, check with your local uh, uh, law enforcement in your area or seek the help of a uh, professional who is familiar with the laws uh, for, in your area for LED lights, uh, whether they be running lights or uh, uh, accessory lights of any kind and uh, see, what, see what he has to say and, and let him uh, offer uh, the guidance that uh, you're going to need to uh, get the job done. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this baby on now and show you what this uh, rear system looks like.